Yes, let's go, boy. I'm in grill. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Let's go. Let's find out. All right, beastlings, I'm Moggy and let's buy it into what remains of Edith Finch, one of my all-time favorite games ever. So, get some snacks, sit back, relax, and enjoy the beautiful adventure we're about to embark upon together. Because the story of this game is incredible. So let's do it. Yes, let's get straight in here. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Oh, okay. Let's not do that then. That's cool. Oh, I, I, I keep forgetting. This is my brother Lewis's funeral. Can I get you? Cool. I, f I forget the shift is for zooming, not for running. In her will, my mother left me a key, but she didn't tell me what it unlocked. Okay. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Hmm. I know we're supposed to go down here, so I'm gonna check up here real quick. I never did that in the past. Maybe there's two ways, you know? That could be the case as well. Never finished this. Yeah, it, this is incredible. I love it so much. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Ooh. Hoof prints, huh? I was like, this game's creepy. Uh, it has incredible story. Oh my god, there's a deer. Hi! Oh, dear lord. That's so cool. I took the other way uh, in the past, so I never knew. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Right. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Look at the house. I love the house so much. Because it's like, when the house gets full... The house full, was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming cool. about it. Normally, when the house gets full, you either move to a bigger house or people move out and the other people take your rooms and stuff. But this, they just kept building, you know, through the roof up to the sky. I love it so much. Oh my god. It's a bit loud, isn't it? I'll talk loudly as well. It's all good. The dragon slide that collapsed. I wonder if I can go near it. I hear frogs. Um, no, we can't go see that. We'll see it from up later. Don't worry about it. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Well, it's big and creepy. I guess that kind of makes sense for kids, huh? Okay, let me just check. Yeah, there we go. There's the I asked slide. Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was yeah. six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Oh, uh, it collapsed because it was building it, right? That's the only logical explanation. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Yeah. Well, I have the key. Let's try. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh, crap. What do? Uh, oops. I'm sorry, I had to hold it down. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, Ren, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. Through the doggy door. Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Mm, I bet. Uh, oh, you have the thing. I've seen it in movies. The... They put a tennis ball on a string so that once it uh, hits the, the glass of the car, you know that you've driven as far as you can and you can stop the car so the car is in the garage, you can like close the door. That's cool. Nice little life hack. Ooh, lights. The power had been turned off the night we left. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense, I guess. 
What about the bills? Why don't you, I mean, like the letters in the mailbox. Why didn't you, why didn't you take them with you? Bikes. Ah, well, the store is open. For the first time in years. Oh, I'm supposed to go through to continue that sentence. I felt like I was home. Oh. I, I can't play this. I'm getting like overwhelmed with the emotions. This house is incredible. And the music. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. It's such a sad freaking game. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So mm -hmm. we had Chinese a lot. This house is something to die for. It is. It's incredible. This game. How do people come up with this game? However, I'm gonna see if I can... Um, is it graphics? Brightness, there you go. It's a bit dark, isn't it? That's better, I guess. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Um, yeah, power was turned off. Oh, look at them, look at this! The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. I mean, look at, look outside, look at this view. Hang on, curtains here, I'll go to the other window. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Oh, oh so many books and stuff, oh my god. Um, Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. Yes, the original. Oh, the original house, right? This rebuilt. This isn't the original house. The original house that sank. Oh my god. Oh, this game. I missed it so much. Oh my god. Yeah, anyway. Look. Look. See that thing in the water there in the middle of the screen? That's the old house that sunk. Hey, Enigma. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, right. Music box. Wind it up. Oh, I have to actually move my mouse. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. This music, along oh. with the rest of the house. It's in the main menu as well. I love it so much. It's so sad. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh, we'll get in there. We'll get in there, don't worry about it. Right, so let's explore the house. That's the closet. Look through the peephole. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Fair enough. Up the stairs, I guess. Oh yeah, into After the Milton bedrooms. Disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> I think this way. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Mm-hmm. Well, oh. Is there, that's the original house, isn't it? I don't think I ever looked at the wall properly. Yes. I think that's the original house. So cool. I love this game. <laughs> Is this a trolley? Kinda. Let's see. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. That's the key. Hell to the yeah, yeah. Secret passages in the house. It's one of my favorite things about this game. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Yes, let's go, boy. I mean, grill. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Let's go. Let's find out. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. <laughs> yeah. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <sighs> oh, we're in a closet, aren't Just we? Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Yeah, yeah look at that secret freaking pathway oh my god so i grew cool. up looking at molly's room through the peephole molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage <laughs> that's good cool. being inside for the first time i felt like i'd stepped behind a painting 
That's cool. Hey! Shark! Baby shark! Do, 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 do. Where? Owl? Rabbit? Duck? Cat? I heard that. I would love to live in that house and hide in the walls, right? Oh, look! It's us. We actually have a body, unlike in a lot of I other got the games. Sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Okay. Diary. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. My Halloween candy was all gone. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate it. I kept eating and eating. <laughs> if you can see characters like that's a good game. Yeah. I ate a lot of things that night. Oh, the woods. Oh, I love nature. Okay. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Chirp, chirp. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Herb, let me come with and you. And suddenly, I was a cat. Oh God, I have to control this, that's right. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Okay, cool. You, I'll get you one Mom day. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Uh, meow? No? Look at this view. Oh. Oh. Alright, how... Oh, up here. I mean, down here. I'll get you down. Oh, okay, maybe not. At this time, I got to it. Just wait. I jumped and I almost got her. Arr. Where is you? Ah. There we go. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Oh, we're a cat All now. I cared about was Promises don't count. I'm a bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. Whee! First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. <gasps> oh, what I wouldn't give for flying. Look at this. Rabbit. You rabbit. Duck scissor, rabbit scissor, duck scissor, rabbit scissor, animal scissor. Oh, the text follows them. That's so cool. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. I forgot then how dark this game was. I hear, I hear. A mama rabbit. Mama rabbit, where? <gasps> you. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. It was the best dream ever. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. Ow. Ow. Ow. I'm stuck. What's this commentary? Look at Steve! I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Dun-dun. Dun 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 there. Here we go. This freaking game, man. Grabbed up tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Because now... Whoa, I'm pushing away the letters. I forgot about this thing. Now we are a... Now I was a monster. monster. I smelled people everywhere. I think the copyright song is playing. I'm not too sure, so I might mute for the video this part. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Yeah. Hello, Captain. After oh. the last passenger, I was still hungry. Oh, Captain. I the water My Captain. I new, something I had to have, so I swam towards it. Oh yes, that smell. I slithered onto the sand. And the good there. Into an old pipe. That's cool story, of everything in your way. Yes. Well, this is part of her dream, I believe. There we go. There we go. This is a familiar bathroom. I got bathroom. closer and closer. Hello, me? All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Well, that's the diary. What happened to her? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. <sighs> Meow? <gasps> Molly! <laughs> Alright, this will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. So, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Because the girl died, so it's like trying to keep it the last time. I spent a lot of time naming it same. Grandma Edie's room. Great Grandma Edie. Oh, <gasps> picture. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. <laughs> so when cute. Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. I she told you. Have, but she didn't. Yeah, the, the slide killed him. It collapsed. Dragon kills Finch. Tragedy strikes. Oh, is this the picture taken right way? <laughs> oh, okay, that's convenient. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <laughs> Edie won't go. 72-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. <laughs> I like her. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Ah. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. 
Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. So that's us? Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Norway. Cool. I'll hold it down. Got it. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Alright, so this is like a little backstory of what happened to the original house and how it all started, I think. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. That's the house that sank. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't box up their house on a ship and leave? But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Mm. That's so cool. I mean, tragic, but so cool. Look at the freaking artwork. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Orcas Island. This is where we are currently. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Oh, yeah, that's a tombstone, right? Like, uh, he's on top of the house. That's so cool. Are they building the new house at the back there? I think so. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Oh yeah, they're building the new house. That's so cool. Oh, back away. There we go. Alright, which one? Whatever's wrong with this family, ah. it goes back a long ways. Yeah, the curse. The curse that goes all the way back to Odin. Oh my god, this is so cool. So cool. Um, put it, put it together. There we are saving. Is that the original house or is it currently? Because it... I don't recognize the stairs being this way. Oh no, yeah, it's this house. The other stairs lead to the attic, that's why. Um, through here, yes. Pink bathroom. Oh my gosh. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. <laughs> nice. It was a pretty big trace. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh my god! <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, this game. Sven How gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. How do you come up with this kind of game? Jesus Christ, it's incredible. Um, I guess move on. Mm, crouch. Milton! Also, yeah, they're like different theme. It's like a rocket, spaceship and stuff themed this way. Nice kids room, by the way. It's, it's nice. And this way, it's like um, Hunter, I guess. Yeah, that's that's cool. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. I mean, I get it if it's like sad. Oh my god, we're like squeezing in here. It's so tiny. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Same. Sam! Calvin! Dinner's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Ash, no dinner for us. We flying, boy. I told him going around was impossible. 
Yep, I'm doing it. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Yeah, you kind of dared him to do it. <laughs> Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh my god, this is, I'm having goosebumps. It's so then scary. Maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Time to fly. That's what I want to remember about my brother. <laughs> the day he made up his mind to fly. He would have landed in the water though, so like I, I never understood that. Tell Unless he didn't know how to swim. Familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. You did? Great. We're all idiots. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh. Yeah, I just took that down. Sorry. Can I go up here now? I believe I can. Yeah, it's... So there's no stairway there. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Hmm. Another secret passageway. <laughs> Dude. Way cool. The passages were a pretty tight fit. I bet. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. All right, we're at the stairs. Yeah. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Ah, uh, can we peep? Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. Hmm. All right, before we continue on there to Barbara's room, I want to check, check around. Attic. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. I see. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Okay, so she was like a child actress. I get that. Let's peep through all the holes first. Uh, we were here already, right? Can I do the thing? The yeah. last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. We just were there. <laughs> I think I was supposed to peep through the holes first and then actually go on the journey. Hang on. Let's just do that now. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Who the hell has a peephole to the bathroom? Oh my god. My yeah. dad Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Oh my god. The wording there seemed like uh, the freaking uh, shared a room with a dead corpse for seven years. <laughs> That's not creepy. <laughs> um, okay. Let me check. Yeah, I went here. I get that. And then we ended up here later on from there. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Oh, sharing room with the brother, cool. Yeah. Unlocked myself a cool heart. I see. Deal with it. <laughs> right, so now we're gonna go to Barbara's room. Back in here. Good job. <laughs> there we go. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Um, there's a- oh my god, okay, it's just a robe. That's okay. Oh, I had a heart attack. Yeah, there's the comic there, and it has copyrighted music, so I might just have to turn the music off for that time being. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Right? You go from, like, a huge star as a kid to an adult who no one really cares about anymore. By, like, the public. I mean, of course, your family still cares, but... It does change a person, I bet. 
Barb Street. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna turn down the audio now. I mean, music. <laughs> of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Hmm. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. <laughs> As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <laughs> now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. <laughs> Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Mm. <gasps> there you go. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but <laughs> I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, uh. babe. I'll be back in a sec. We'll go get that later. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So oh. Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wowed, home scream. she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Okay, I have to control this now. Yeah, see, this is the part where the copyright music would be. It's like the, one of the main horror themes she or something. Rick scratch and imagine the worst. <laughs> oh, no. Blood. Can I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screw finding our boyfriend. Let's just destroy the freaking house. Okay, I'm kidding. The gang's leader oh, is the infamous oh, Hookman oh. Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill. Hookman Killer. And then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Okay. Jane Shaw. I don't want to destroy my father's creation, so I'll just go past. This is fine. Oh, 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 oh. oh dear. Ah. Oh. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, oh, I'm you got not hit, scared, so. Rick. I'm furious. Then yeah. act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and annoyed. <laughs> she threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding Aww, it. Oh, that's she just mean. He needs that. The late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, yes. what's going on up there? <gasps> okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Okay, so your little brother goes, ah, and you're just, fine, I'll come up there. <laughs> Instead of, like, running, <laughs> book it out of here. 
Okay, I see how it is. Okay, let's go. I have a crutch, and I'm not afraid to use it. Walter, I'm also possessed. Walter had vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island oh, no. Police described the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. <sighs> I have a crutch. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. Oh, I was he expecting was for the scream. <laughs> yes, he was. Crutch over hook. Okay, Barbara, there's got to be another way out of here. Uh, 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 secret passageway. That night, she played her part beautifully. Yeah, and can we talk about my payment now? She thought about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't do it. Molly, you're the hinges groan. Oh, he wasn't oh, moving. Too bad. But she sensed so sad. This story might not be over yet. As soon as I get down there, he's gonna be gone. You know it. It's the typical freaking horror. And why are we going super slow? Super slow motion. He's gone. Oh, I know. Had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she Turned heard off. was. Oh. Yo. Yo ho, yo ho, pirate life for me. I'm saying. She heard whispering. Play the hook. It was coming from inside the house. <laughs> oh dear. That, that's your reaction. Surprise! You are wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara. It was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was to... about to happen. <laughs> she and the werewolf? Yeah. To be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. <laughs> I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on <laughs> poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. Ooh. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As For Barbara another time. Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. <gasps> no way. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> cool. Jesus Christ, kill that person. Oh, Barbara. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Hmm. Um. I, what actually happened? I've always wondered, like, it's just a comic, right? Like, but she has to crutch there, like, so is that... Is that somewhat true? Like what? What? I, maybe like a freaking obsessed fan broke into the house and killed her or something? I don't know. Cause like monsters, really. Like it's just a comic. But like what? What? 
what actually happened. All right, I'm going. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Yeah, because the key's there. Keep pointing until it pops out. Got it. Got it! Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh, this is so freaking... It's like the basement from Conjuring. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, but it looks way nice down here. Compared to the movie show, that's nice. I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Uh -huh. Yeah, the basement was in the comic too, but it's pretty similar. How did they even... <gasps> it's the slide. The prototype of the slide he was working on. That's... That's so cool.